In order to format your table, you want to make sure that you selected a cell within the table so you can get its related contextual design tab. Now because I chose this style by default, I get the banded rows. But if I don't want banded rows where I've got the same color every other row, that way it helps me keep my eye if I choose this row on the white path as opposed to veering up going, oh, there's blue, stay on the white path. And then you can come up here to the table style options group and uncheck banded rows and it's gone. You can do banded columns, so if you want to keep focus on what column you're in, okay, this is all blue, oop, don't get out to the white, stay on the blue. Or, let me go ahead and uncheck that, go back to banded rows because I like that. You can do first column emphasis, we want to focus on the essential oils, put that in bold, or you can do last column emphasis, and that's in bold, let me uncheck those. You can also get rid of the filter options, the drop down buttons here, that also has sorting, which we'll talk about in a later training video. And you can uncheck that to remove them, but still keep your table. Let's go ahead and check it to add it back. And then finally, we have our quick styles. Click on the drop down arrow and hover over any one of them. You can see a preview of it over on the spreadsheet. You can see the name of this one's Table Style Light 17, or how about, ooh, that one's kind of nice, Table Style Medium 5. It's a go. Select it, and I like it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.